One E. I'm a student. Student is someone who goes to school or university to study to learn. One. Vocabulary. Listen and repeat after me. Arabic. Era. Era. Arabic. Gia. Gia. Graphy. Graphy. Geography. Geography. His. His. History. History. P E. P is short for physical. E. Education. Physical means it's related to the body. Body. Physical education. Maths. Maths. Islamic studies, Islamic studies, English, art, art, science, science. What's your favorite school subject? These are school subjects, all of them, history, geography, school subjects. Favorite, the one you like. What school subject do you like? Of course, I like English. <coughs> Practice the spelling. Spelling, the letters used to write each word. And pronunciation, the way you say these new words. Let's do that. I will hide all the words. And I want you to say them. What subject is this? This is his history. And this is PE, physical education. Physical education. This is maths. This is geo, geography. Geography. This is Arabic. This is art. This is science. This is English. And this is Islamic studies. Islamic studies. Two. Speak. Look. Are you good at? When you ask are you good at means can you do this very well? Are you good at PE? Physical education? Yes. I am a very good athlete. I'm good at sports. Or, no, I'm not. Now, group survey. Talk in groups of four. You and other three classmates. Ask each other questions and complete the table. Are you good at? First, you. Are you good at Arabic? Let's say yes, yes, no, 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 yes, no, yes, yes. Ask the other three students. Are you good at Arabic? Student one. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Finish the table and then report your group's answers. Report, tell your group's answers to the class, to the rest of the class. How many students are good at science? One, two. Two students in my group are good at science. Three students in my group are good at Arabic. One, two, three. Now finish with the rest of the subjects. Three. Listen. Listen to a man interviewing two children. Interviewing. When you interview someone, you ask questions for TV or a magazine or a newspaper. Two. Children. Two young people. 
not old for a survey and match by drawing lines match these we have a man Lisa and Ray listen excuse me can I ask you some questions sure okay what are your names I'm Ray and this is Lisa Ray and Lisa great where are you from I'm English but Ray is from Italy really okay and how old are you I'm 13 and I'm 11 13 and 11 good now what's your favorite school subject I like history okay and you Ray my favorite subject is geography thank you very much okay let's read the listening transcript excuse me excuse me is a nice way to attract somebody's attention can I ask you some questions is it okay if I ask you questions sure of course no problem okay what are your names I'm Ray and this is Lisa Ray and Lisa great okay very good where are you from I'm English okay Lisa is English but Ray is from Italy he is Italian really okay and how old are you I'm 13 green Ray and I'm 11 Lisa English 11 13 and 11 good now what's your favorite school subject do you like English Arabic maths what I like history Lisa history okay and you Ray my favorite subject is geography geography thank you very much four speak and write read and complete the table below this is the table fill in the missing information we need the name of this person we need the surname the last name the age which means how old he is the nationality which country is he from the favorite subject teacher sport an athlete athlete is someone who is good at sport now let's read hello my name is Richard name Richard surname Goodman I'm 11 years old age 11 I'm Irish nationality Irish from Ireland Ireland Irish I live in Dublin my city my favorite subject is PE I'm good at it favorite teacher mr. Sims teacher Sims he is the PE teacher and he is cool he is a nice person my favorite sport is swimming I like swimming my favorite swimmer swimmer is someone who swims is Michael Thompson that's my favorite athlete or player now talk in pairs with a classmate what's your name my name's Mutasim Nadim how old are you I'm 13 years old where are you from I'm from Jeddah Saudi Arabia what's your favorite subject of course I like English are you good at PE physical education yes I am who is your favorite teacher his name is Muhammad Musa he is my favorite teacher what's your favorite sport I like volleyball very much who is your favorite athlete 
or player Majid Abdullah. Read and add punctuation and capitals to the sentences. Punctuation is like a question mark, an exclamation mark, comma, full stop, punctuation. Capitals, uppercase letters, like these. We use capital letters, uppercase, at the beginning of a sentence. Like here, at the beginning of a sentence. Beginning, 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 beginning of a sentence. We use capital letter. With names and surnames. Names like Richard, R, capital. Surnames like Goodman, capital G. Capital S, Sims, capital T, Thompson. With Mr., Mrs., Miss, and Ms., like here, Mr. Sims. We use Mr. with males, a man or a boy, and we use the last name. If the man's name is Richard Goodman, we say Mr. Goodman. Mr. Goodman. Not Mr. Richard, no. Surname, surname, Mr. Goodman. We use Mrs. with a married woman. She is married. We use Miss with unmarried woman. We say Mrs. Goodman. She is Lisa Goodman. We use the surname, surname, Lisa Goodman. We say Mrs. Goodman. Miss Goodman, the same thing, the surname. Or, we can use Ms. Mrs. Ms. Miss. Ms. Ms. can work for both, married or unmarried. We say Ms. Goodman, Ms. Goodman. Miss, Ms. Mrs. Ms. With cities, countries, or nationalities, like Irish, Irish is a nationality. Dublin, Dublin is a city. With languages like English, Arabic, Chinese. School subjects like history, PE, physical education. With days of the week, like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. With the word I, every time you use I, I live in Dublin. I'm good, I, always, capital. Now, punctuation. With affirmative, like I like English. And negative, like I don't, don't negative, I don't like history. End with a full stop, full stop, full stop in the end. With questions, end with a question mark. This is a question mark, question mark. Now, look, we have seven sentences with no capitals and no punctuation. We will put the punctuation and the capitals. First, the beginning of the sentence, my. We have a name, Lee, and surname, and we need a full stop, affirmative. My name is Lee Sanders. I am from Australia. The beginning of the sentence, Country, full stop. Beginning of a sentence. Green, surname, subject, full stop. Beginning of a sentence. School subject, full stop. Beginning of a sentence. 
city, country, full stop. Beginning of a sentence, school subject, question, we need a question mark. Are you good at geography? Beginning of a sentence, a day of the week, and a question mark. Now use the notes below to write a paragraph about yourself. Make this about yourself. Use the information from activity B. Use the information here, the name, the age, the country, the favorite school subject. First, go to the workbook, page 128, and complete the plan. Let's go to page 128 in the workbook. Complete the plan, name, favorite subject, etc. And then come back here to the same page, 19, and fill in the missing information. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I will leave you now with the workbook exercises. I'll catch you in the next video, inshallah. Until then, thank you and goodbye.